All right, uh, let's look at the homework 9.1, problem number three. All right, so we have a different equation, y double prime plus y is equal to sine of x. And uh, we want to check to see if any of these guys are solution. All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, so let's look at the first one, y equals sine of x. So uh, you have, if you take the derivative of sine of x, you get uh, cosine of x. Right, and take another one, double prime is going to be negative sine of uh, x. All right, so let's look at the right hand side. So, right hand side of the oh, sorry, not the right hand, left hand side, I meant uh, left hand side of the equation. What you get is uh, let's see, y double prime is cosine, actually, negative sine, sorry negative sine of x and plus y. So y is sine, right? Uh, which is actually, it, they cancel out each other. So you end up getting a zero, right? So which is not equal to the right hand side, right? Which means that uh, unfortunately, uh, this guy is not a solution, All right? So uh, let's uh, look at the second one, which is cosine, All right? So you take the derivative of the cosine, you get uh, negative sine, and uh, you take the derivative again, you get uh, negative cosine of x, All right? So left hand side of the equation, uh, y double prime is negative cosine, and plus y is uh, cosine. So again, uh, we have this uh, similar cancellation as before, and we get zero, which is not the same thing as sine of x or right hand side. All right? So we know that uh, the second one is not a solution. All right, so let's look at the third one. Uh, so it's a little tedious, uh, we just have to uh, check everything. So first derivative is going to be, all right, so uh, I guess we have to put the one half in, in front, then we're gonna actually have to use a product rule to take the derivative. So first guy, that's the second guy. All right, so derivative of the first guy would be, uh, let's see, I'm going to put the bracket here. All right, derivative of the first guy is 1 times sine of x plus x times derivative of sine is cosine. So you end up getting that, All right? Then we take another derivative, so uh, y double prime is going to be, all right, so one half is still there, all right, then take the derivative of sine, which is cosine of x here, and here we're going to have to, again, you have, well, we have to use the product rule, so this guy, first guy times the second guy, all right, so derivative of uh, first guy is one times the second guy, so it's a cosine of x, and uh, plus x times derivative of cosine is negative sine. So I guess I have to erase that. So it's going to be negative sine of x. All right, so we, if we simplify that, so it looks like uh, this is going to be simply 1 half. And uh, we have two of these uh, cosines. So it's a 2 cosine of x and minus x sine of x. All right, so let's check the different equation. So I'm going to start with the left hand side. All right, so y double prime is a one half. And then you have a two cosine of x minus x sine of x. All right. Then we have to add uh, one half x 
sine of x. All right, so that's just a y. All right, so you can see that there's going to be a cancellation. There's a one half x, uh, negative x sine of x. This is going to be a positive x sine of x. So we can cancel that and then cancel that. So you end up actually getting, uh, we can cancel, let's say, two on top and two on the bottom. So you're just going to get actually cosine. So you have a cosine of x. All right. And again, uh, right-hand side is a sine of x, so we didn't get the same thing as the right-hand side. So this is not equal to the right-hand side, right? So we know that the third one doesn't work either. All right, so let's do the fourth one. So take the derivative. All right, so I'm going to just put the negative one-half. That's just going to be a number. All right, derivative of that, so we have to again use the product rule. All right, so derivative of uh, x is 1 times cosine of x plus uh, x times derivative of cosine is negative sine, so I'm going to change that to a negative uh, sine of x. All right, then uh, we take the second derivative. So we still have negative one half is sitting there. All right, derivative of cosine is a negative sine of x. All right, so you have uh, again. I'm going to use the uh, product rule here. Actually, I'm going to include this negative sign so that we don't have to worry about it. All right, so derivative of uh, first guy would be negative one times uh, sine of x. Uh, plus uh, negative x times derivative of sine is cosine. All right, so this is going to be, uh, you have a negative uh, one half, then you have a negative sine, negative sine, so negative two sine of x, and then you have a minus uh, x cosine of x. Uh, seems like everyone has negative, so I'm going to distribute this negative sign so so that um, it's going to be. So I'm going to distribute negative negative, so it's going to be positive here and the positive there. All right, so let's check the equation. Uh, start with the left hand side, which is going to be equal to all right y double prime is uh, one half, and you have a two sine of x plus uh, x uh, cosine of x plus, all right, original one is a minus uh, one half, so it's going to be minus one half uh, x cosine of x. All right, so you see that uh, there's a one half x cosine of x minus one half x cosine of x, they cancel out. And also you can cancel 2 and 2. Then finally we get sine of x, which is the uh, same thing as the right-hand side. All right? So finally, this is a solution. All right? So uh, we just need to check uh, one more. All right? So let's take the derivative of that guy. So y prime is going to be all right, so this is going to be x sine. So we're going to have um, a product rule here. All right, derivative of the first guy is 1 times the second. So you have a sine of x plus first guy is x. Derivative of sine is cosine. All right, that's the derivative. And the next one, uh, I'm going to actually just put the negative 4 in front. All right, then uh, we're going to just to take the derivative of x cosine. So here, you have a first guy is x and second guy is cosine. All right, derivative of um, uh, x is 1 times cosine of x plus uh, you have a x times derivative of cosine is negative sine. So I have to, I have to turn that into negative and sine of x. All right. 
then we we can probably clean up a little bit actually it's not much we can do uh, except for we can just uh, distribute uh, um, a negative 4 maybe so this is going to be equal to uh, sine of x plus uh, x cosine of x minus uh, 4 cosine of x um, minus minus so it's a positive uh, 4 x sine of x all right so we have to take the derivative again so y double prime is going to be equal to all right derivative of sine is cosine all right then we have to use the product rule so derivative of the first guy is 1 times cosine of x then you have a x times derivative of cosine is negative sine. So I'm going to put the negative sine of x. All right. Derivative of negative full cosine of x is, uh, uh, let's see, uh, derivative of cosine is negative sine. So it's going to be plus 4 uh, sine of x. And then last one is going to be, uh, take the derivative of, uh, let's see, I'm going to put the uh, 4x as a chunk and uh, do that. So uh, derivative of uh, 4x is 4 times uh, sine of x uh, plus uh, 4x times derivative of sine is cosine of x. All right. So uh, let's um, uh, let's see. We can simplify this a little bit, right? So it's going to be all right. There's going to be two cosine. So two cosine of x so that will take care of this guy and take care of that guy all right then we can put together a full sine of x here and a full sine of x so that's going to be 8 sine of x all right and then uh, we have uh, minus x sine of x so it's going to be minus x sine of x and plus 4x cosine of x. All right, so that'll take care of everyone. All right, so let's uh, start with the left hand side of the equation. All right, so y double prime would be 2 cosine of x plus 8 sine of x minus x sine of x plus 4x cosine of x then we're going to add y which is x sine of x minus 4x cosine of x all right so you can see that uh, here uh, x sine of x here and that cancel out this cancel out and with that cancel out but uh, unfortunately uh, we are left with uh, 2 cosine of x and 8 sine of x, which is not quite the same thing as sine of x. So it's not equal to the right-hand side, All right? So therefore, uh, this guy is not a solution. All right, so let's uh, uh, type it in. So this is the only solution uh, that we have, All right? So um, uh, submit for testing. All right, I came back and looks like we got this one correctly. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.